Hi guys, are you ready to take control of your civilian setup? With 4-port managed PoE power switch, setting up your IP cameras has never been easier. Get ready to witness seamless video transmission, centralized control, and enhanced power management with the power of the 4-port managed PoE power switch. And don't miss out on this opportunity to receive expert guidance and unlock the full potential of your technology system design. Visit the link down in the description description box below, you can send us your problem and submit your questions to claim your free design. So what exactly is a PoE power switch? PoE power switch is a network switch not only allow for transmission of data between connected devices, but also provides the power to those devices over a single Ethernet cable. It combines the functionality of a network switch and power injector into a single device. And the benefits include simplified installation, reduced cabling complexity, and flexibility in device placement as power outlet are not required. So let's move on to the next scene and I will show you the setup for today. So today we are going to connect a wireless access point, a PTZ camera, and a 4K IP camera using the 4-port managed PoE power switch. And since we don't have any power outlet at the edge, that's why we'll need to add this 90 watt PoE injector in the front in order to send power to our switch using this 100 meters Ethernet cable. So let's take a closer look at our switch. It has four 1000 amp PoE port, one gigabit PoE pass-through port, one RJ45 1000M uplink port, and it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Support up to 95 watts power input from 802.3 BT injector with a total power budget of 65 watts. And also the power output is up to 30 watts per port. By using this switch, you can double the maximum distance between the PSE and the PD from 100 meters to 200 meters to extend your gigabit network connectivity to remote area where AC power is not close by. Not only of that, it can also support a broad range of network configuration, including QoS, VLAN, and DHCP. So now, Let's do the connection together. So first we are going to use the short patch cord to connect our router with the NVR. And then using another one here to connect our main network router to our PoE injector. See we have the data in and PoE out. Make sure you plug it into the data in port with the router. And using the 100 meter Ethernet cable to connect with PoE out port. So now we should be okay because it's already powered up. This is the 100 meter ethernet cable. And over this side we have our managed switch. And let's use the ethernet cable to power it up. And then I'm going to use the short patch cord here to connect the ports with the cameras. This is the IP camera, the 4K, and using another one here, connect with the PDZ. And last but not least, we have the wireless SS point. Let's connect it here. So you can see they are all powering up with both power and data. And the indicated lights are getting on. We have two cameras working. Let me wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And the whole setup is pretty simple, right? Now let's move on to the scene where I will use a computer to do the web configuration. So now we are at the homepage of our 4-port PoE power switch and here's all the device information. Today we are going to demonstrate two functions. First is the DHCP which is under system setting and IP setting. 
To turn on the DHCP function, we have to put this on disable from disable to enable. And make sure you save it to enable the DHCP client function. And next, let's do the VLAN, which is under here. The VLAN number, let's make a room, let's say 101 and save it. Now we have a room 101 going to the VLAN setting. I'm going to put port number one and two. Let's go under room 101. And now we are done with the VLAN setting. And there are also many other settings like the QoS, PoE setting, and the switch setting. In addition, if you want to have a reliable PoE system set up, make sure you use a pure copper cable, like the Cat5e, Cat6, Cat6e, because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials, so it can provide stable power delivery. And also keep in mind of the power budget. You can use an IEEE 802.3 POBT PoE injector or the PoE switch to provide for your edge devices. And here's a video on how to install multiple IP cameras over 100 meters with the outdoor PoE power switch. And thank you so much for watching us. And I'll see you next time.